something else that we've been seeing uh, in our work is really the necessity to give families who are undergoing an eviction process the tools to properly defend themselves. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about the right to counsel movement, which would allow any tenant who is showing up to eviction court to have a lawyer at their side, just like in a criminal case. We know from our work in Arizona that looking at eviction filings across uh, Maricopa County, which is the Phoenix metro area, 99% of landlords had lawyers and only 1% of tenants had a lawyer with them. And as you can imagine, the outcome difference is stark. So things like that. And then also continuing rental assistance programs. That was a huge finding from the pandemic that emergency rental assistance worked. It kept millions and millions of families from being evicted. It gave them the funds they needed to pay their rent. And we also know that the cost of an eviction to the education system, to the medical system, to you know, a host of other systems that we interact with is so much higher than that monthly rent for a few months. So these programs make fiscal sense and it would be such a huge improvement to continue funding these rental assistance programs